Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this embossed shell stitch, which is an absolutely gorgeous stitch, especially when worked in multiple colors as it is here. It really shows off uh, the design in it as well as this beautiful texture. The pattern is mostly to one side, though the back doesn't look all that bad as well. It creates a very thick, very solid, dense fabric when it's worked up. Today I'll be working with a five millimeter crochet hook as well as three colors of a worsted weight medium cotton yarn and this is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. You can work this design in multiple colors or you can work it as one. It's beautiful either way. Uh, the links to these items will be found in the description below as well in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written instructions that are on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here don't forget to subscribe, check out some of the other crochet stitch tutorials and free crochet patterns. This channel is updated weekly uh, every Sunday morning with a new free stitch tutorial. So be sure to follow along. Let me know if you use this stitch uh, in a project uh, down in the comments. And uh, don't forget to tag me on social media. I would love to come and admire it. I will be working our stitch today in rows. So we're going to start by taking our color A by making a slip knot and then working a foundation chain. Our foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of 12 stitches plus two. Today I'm going to chain a total of 26. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Skip the next two stitches and into your next stitch work five double crochet. Skip the next two stitches and then single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. You're then going to repeat that all the way across your foundation chain, beginning with the skip the next two stitches and work five double crochet stitches in the next stitch, skip the next two stitches, work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches, and so forth, all the way across. Once you have six chains remaining, you'll have worked your five double crochet. You're going to skip the next two chains and then work one single crochet into each of the final four stitches. Once 
that brings you to the end of your row one. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to single crochet into each of the next two stitches. We're now going to begin working some of that textured design in the shell stitches. So we're going to skip the next single crochet and into our next stitch or around our next stitch we're going to work a back post double crochet. So we're working that back post double crochet around that first double crochet stitch. Yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from back through to the front around the post of that first double crochet. Yarn over, draw up your loop, yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to double crochet in between the stitch you just worked and the next stitch. So in the space between that first double crochet and your next double crochet, work one double crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat that three more times. Back post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch and double crochet in the space between the next two stitches. Back post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch and double crochet in the space between that stitch and the next. Once you've worked the repeat three more times, you have one double crochet stitch left. You're going to work a back post double crochet around the post of that final double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next single crochet stitch and single crochet in each of the next five stitches. And you're going to repeat that all the way across, beginning with the skip the next single crochet stitch, back post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet stitch, and double crochet in the space between. Repeat that three more times. Once you come all the way across, you're skipping that next single crochet and working a single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So you're going to repeat that all the way along to the end of your row. When you come across your shell and you have one double crochet, don't forget to work a back post double crochet in that final double crochet stitch before you skip the next single crochet. When you come all the way across, you have your four single crochet stitches remaining. You skip that next one and work one single crochet in each of the final three stitches. And that brings you to the end of your row two. At the end of your row two you can chain one and turn your work. For row three we're going to single crochet into this first stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to skip the next single crochet stitch and around the post of the next double crochet, 
work a front post double crochet stitch. Double crochet in the space between that stitch and the next one. You're going to skip the next double crochet and once again work another double crochet in the space between the next two stitches. We're going to repeat that four times. Front post, double crochet around the post of the next double crochet stitch double crochet in the next space, skip the next double crochet and once again double crochet in the next space. That was my second repeat. Front post double crochet, double crochet in each of the next two spaces. Repeat that one more time front post double crochet, double crochet into each of the next two spaces for the fourth time through the repeat. You have one double crochet left, work one final front post double crochet. You're then going to skip the next single crochet, single crochet into each of the next three stitches and repeat beginning with that skip single crochet all the way across. So skip the next single crochet, front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, double crochet in each of the next two spaces, front post double crochet, and double crochet in the next two spaces. Front post double crochet around the final double crochet stitch, skip the next stitch and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Do that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. When you have three stitches remaining you're going to skip that next stitch, single crochet into each of the final two stitches and that brings you to the end of your row three. At the end of row three, we're going to chain one and turn our work. You're then going to, for row four, single crochet into this first stitch. And then work a front post, single crochet, uh, skip the next stitch, sorry, and work a front post, single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. So skip the next stitch around the post of the next uh, post stitch, which is a double crochet, you're going to work a front post single crochet. To work the front post single crochet, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through the two loops. You're going to work a front post single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. So you're working all the way across your top of your shell here. Once you've worked a front post single crochet around the post of each of the next 13 stitches, you're going to skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and repeat. Skip the next single crochet, 
and work a front post single crochet stitch around the posts of each of the next 13 stitches, skip the next stitch, and single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to repeat that all the way across until you have two stitches remaining. When you come all the way across and you have two stitches remaining, you're going to skip that next stitch, single crochet in the final stitch. If you would like to change color as I'm going to do here, this is where you're going to do it. So you're going to insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop with your color A, but then drop your color A. You can leave it attached for now uh, and it will depend on the uh, design you're working. If you're going to work an, work an edging around uh, your project, then you can leave it attached and just pull up. But if you're not going to, then you'll want to fasten off and weave it in and then reattach it later. Otherwise, you can just leave it attached. You're then going to place your color B on your hook and pull it through the two loops on your hook. Pull it a little bit tighter. Some people like to use a slip knot to begin and then chain one and turn your work. For row five, we're all set to work in our color B. At the end of row four, you've chained one, turn your work. You're then going to chain two more. So you have a total of three chains. This uh, chain three will count as a double crochet stitch. We're then going to, for row five, work three double crochet stitches Except when we work these stitches, we're going to be working into the top of the first single crochet four rows below. So in our row one, we're going to yarn over, bring our hook in front of our work and into that first stitch of row one, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up your loop, pull it up fairly tall to the height of where you're working, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. You want to do that a total of three times. There's one all into that same stitch. Two and three. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and work a single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Skip the next three stitches. Now working over top of the single crochet and into the stitch four rows below, you're going to work five double crochet stitches. So into your single crochet, four rows below, work five double crochet stitches. Again, pulling them up to the height of uh, your current row. All five into the same stitch. You're then going to once again skip the next three stitches and repeat single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Skip the next three stitches and work your five double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across until you have four stitches remaining. When you have four stitches remaining, skip those next three stitches, work three double crochet stitches into the st uh, top of that stitch, four rows below, all three into the same stitch. It is a little bit awkward, especially in this row here where there's not much fabric to hang on to. You're then going to kind of have to push those stitches in a little bit 
and you're going to work one final double crochet stitch into that final single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row five. At the end of your row five, we're going to chain three. That counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. You're then going to, for row, row six, skip the first stitch and in between the next two stitches, you're going to work a double crochet stitch. You're then going to back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch and repeat. Double crochet in the next space between the two double crochet stitches and work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're then going to skip the next single crochet and single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Skip the next single crochet stitch. Around the post of the next double crochet stitch, work a back post double crochet and then double crochet in the next space between the two stitches. You're going to repeat that a total of four times. So that was my first time. Then back post, double crochet, double crochet in the next space, back post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch, double crochet in the next space, back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch and double crochet in the next space. You're then going to work one more back post double crochet stitch around the post of the next stitch. Skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the next each of the next five stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across When you come to the end of your row, you're going to skip the next single crochet, work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, double crochet in the space between the next two stitches, front post, repeat that once more, Fr uh, sorry, back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, and then double crochet in the space between. You then have one stitch remaining and your turning chain. You're simply going to work a double crochet into the top of your turning chain. That brings you to the end of your row six. At the end of your row six, you're going to chain three and turn your work. For row seven, we're going to begin by working a double crochet into the space between the first two stitches. Double crochet into the next space. So you're skipping the double crochet and double crochet in the next space. You're then going to work a front post double crochet in the next stitch and then repeat double crochet in the next space skip the next double crochet and double crochet in the next space and finish off with a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch you're then going to skip the next single crochet and work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Next, front post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch.
double crochet into the next space, skip the next double crochet, and once again double crochet in the space between the next two stitches. Going to repeat that all the way across our shell, front post, double crochet around the post of the next stitch, double crochet in the next space, and then double crochet again in the space between the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, double crochet in the next space, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the space between the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next post of the next stitch, double crochet in the next space, skip the next double crochet, and once again double crochet in the space between the next two stitches. All the way across your shell, and then work one final front post double crochet. Skip the next single crochet and work a single crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across until you come to your final stitches. You're going to skip the next single crochet, front post double crochet around the next stitch, double crochet in the next space, Skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next space. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Double crochet in the next space between the two stitches. And then finally when you come across you're going to work a double crochet in the space between your turning chain and your next stitch and finish off the row with a double crochet into the top of your turning chain. And that brings you to the end of your row 7. At the end of row 7 we're going to chain 1 and turn our work. For row 8, single crochet into the first stitch. Your chain 1 does not count as a stitch and then work a front post single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Skip the next single crochet stitch and single crochet into the next. Skip the next single crochet stitch and front post single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that. Skip the next stitch from post single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next. All the way across to your final stitches where you're going to skip the next stitch, front post single crochet in each of the next 6 stitches. and then single crochet into the top of your turning chain 3. If you would like, at this time, you can switch to your next color, your color C, if desired. I'm going to switch, just as I did before, over to my third color, placing it on my hook, 
and drawing it through those last two loops. Then at the end of your row eight, chain one and turn. For row nine, using your color C, you've chained one. We're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then single crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're then going to skip the next three stitches, working over top of the next single crochet stitch and into the stitch that is four rows below. And this time we're going to work under that single crochet stitch, under that middle single crochet. We're going to work five double crochet stitches. So if you're working it in multiple colors, it's easy. You're going to go right down to the bottom of the color insert your hook into that middle uh, single crochet yarn over drop your loop and work your double crochet stitch so you want to work five double crochets all into that same space skip the next three stitches and single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Skip the next three stitches and repeat. Work five double crochet stitches over top and under that next single crochet stitch four rows below. Then skip the next three and work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Repeat that all the way across until you come to your final stitches, you're going to skip the next three and then single crochet into each of the final four stitches. And that's it as far as the repeat is concerned in this pattern. And it probably did seem like a lot. Uh, so feel free to go back and uh, watch this a few times and grab those written instructions on ridgetexturescrochet.com. From here, you're going to repeat rows two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So rows two through to row nine as much as you would like. And then uh, I finished off my original swatch here. I'll bring it back on. I finished on my, off my original swatch on a row eight to give it a more finished edge. So that's it for the embossed shell stitch. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, I invite you to subscribe. If you work up this stitch, feel free to tag me on social media, Rich Textures Crochet, so that I can come and admire it. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.